Exactly. Turn to July well, the 20th. Yeah, Aspen is now two years old. Uh, she's returned to Lima, Peru to get a additional treatment uh, for her Tay-Sachs disease. Uh, her previous um, treatment involved the use of uh, norm brain stem cells, brain nerve growth factors, and um, plus the hexate gene. Uh, this time, the treatment is focused around her receiving hexate gene that's inserted into the viral vector to cause a generalized transfection of the brain cells. And in addition, uh, Aspen is going to receive um, uh, the, uh, the, the neuron brain stem cells and brain nerve growth factors as well. So this is her second treatment um, in this um, ma manner. And um, we feel rather convinced that this is the right formula. It's a question of method of administration, uh, which uh, we're still using the intraspinal route into the ventricles of the brain and through the blood-brain barrier that way, as opposed to a direct injection into the brain. Um, the question that evolves with, with all of this type of therapy is how often the patient needs to receive the treatment to be any benefit, whether um, giving the treatment two times, three times, or ten times is the approach. But one would assume that since the neuron stem cells multiply so rapidly into the millions in, in the brain, that, that if we can infect enough of those cells with the hexa gene, that uh, function uh, will improve considerably.